you're working on your home this year while trying to save some money, Leslie Bovard from A House Is Built is here to help with another do-it-yourself project. New Year and new do-it-yourself projects. Everybody, we're bringing in Leslie Bovard from A House Is Built into the conversation today. Leslie, Happy New Year. It's been a minute since I've talked to you. <laughs> yes, Happy New Year, Mikey. So good to see you. So great to see you too. And so great um, to hear all of these new exciting projects. And one of them we're talking about is do-it-yourself full wood blinds. That's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> Could you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Sure, absolutely. So window treatments can be really expensive, especially when we want coverings that are custom sized to a variety of windows throughout an entire house. And sometimes we'd like to have privacy without having to hang more affordable drapes at every single window. But I'm here to tell you today that you can have really nice faux wood blinds without paying the high price for custom orders. So New Year, I thought I'd start off with a super simple project and it only requires, believe it or not, a tape measure, a drill with drill bits, and of course, the faux window blinds. Home Depot or Lowe's both carry faux window blinds that will custom cut at the store while you wait. Now, they even carry cordless, two and a half inch wood blinds that to me remind me of window shutters. Kind of break it down to us, what are the steps like? You're, you're talking to somebody who's not really crafty. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy, Mikey. If I could do it, you can do it too. So if you're hanging your blinds inside a window casing, that's called an inside mount, and you'd want to measure the width and height of each window first. From the width, you want to subtract one half inch to allow a space allowance of both sides of the blinds after they're installed. But basically, you would want to hang the support metal brackets by marking the holes for the screws on the window casing first. Then you take a drill bit and drill the marked holes and install each of the brackets using a drill with the screws that came with the blinds. After the brackets are all installed, you basically slide the header of the blinds into the brackets and you lock them in place. Finally, you want to install the plastic clips to the blind header, assemble the molding assembly, and install the molding on the plastic clips. From there, you're ready to go. A lot of stuff to take in. Um, and before we let you go, what is a helpful tip that you would like to share with all of our viewers? Okay, so there may be some windows where the height or width don't fall in the range of sizes available at the box stores, but don't let this prevent you from using them. In my house, I have two small windows, for instance, that I had to outside mount the blinds since there weren't any blinds small enough to inside mount them. I also have really large windows, and one of them is actually eight feet wide. So for situations like these, I use two or three sets of blinds to span the entire width. The combination of phone window blinds will always be so much less than custom ordered, made, and installed by someone else. Now, if anybody <laughs> else wanted to reach out to you, hire you for special projects, how can they do so? You know, currently I'm working on a complete house renovation project, complete, with a client who actually found me right here at Living 808, so thank you for that. But you can contact me on Instagram, which is the easiest way to follow me. It's the platform where I share my interior design, my DIY projects, and home staging on my stories, highlights, and posts. You can send me a message there at a house is built with underscores between each word, or you can email me at a house is built at gmail.com. We're looking forward to working with you and to help create spaces that you love. We'll have more information on khn2.com, including the step-by-step -step process if you guys wanted to make do-it-yourself full wood blinds. Thank you so much, Leslie. Bye. She's so awesome, John. No, oh, yeah, she's amazing. She does every part of the house now, including window blinds. Great. Are, are, are you crafty? I am not. Not when it comes to this. Not when it comes to home. I'm afraid to do home stuff, which is why Papa D or my say, dad yeah. does stuff for the oh, house. Oh, your dad too. But yeah, they, they painted our house before we even moved in. Nice. And uh, make I, it doors and I, I would suggest, like, like you said earlier, say, if saving money is on your list for new, your New Year's resolution, yeah. definitely think about hitting up Leslie. Well, you know what? Um, and if you're feeling like you can do it yourself, she's got tons of stuff on her page. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is go and look, and she's got a lot of projects there. And if you're not feeling like doing it yourself, give her a call. That's right. Yep.